Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick inbox video of a kit I've just received. It's not a new kit, it's been out about 10 years, but it looks pretty nice, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. It is the, this kit right here, which is the F-16i Sufa, the Israeli Falcon from Hasegawa in semi-second scale. Um, this is about many different flavors. Hasegawa has released this 10 billion different times with different schemes um, around the world, most of the US stuff. But this is the suit for the Israeli version with like kind of square of spine and awesome looking kind of camo pattern. So without further ado, I'm going to switch the camera down to the bench and we'll take a look at what's inside the box. Okay, so here it is. The um, F-69i Fal Fighting Falcon Israeli Air Force, semi-second scale. So usual Hasegawa box, uh, picture one made up. And being Hasegawa, it should be quite nice. So this was from 2010, so it's 10 years old. Um, one big bag of screws, clear parts, huh. um, decals, we'll look at in a minute, and the instructions. Those, those of you guys who are familiar with House of Gala, you know, this is a typical kind of kit, laid out all the same way. The instructions come kind of folding, kind of Japanese way, pamphlet. So I'm going to whisper this real quick. If you guys want to see more detail, just pause the video. So first of all, um, color callouts and guns, um, Mr. Hobby Paints, um, you've got the sprues layout, and then you get straight back into it. So the cockpit first, um, one nice thing is it looks like you get pilot figures. You don't get many pilot figures and kits nowadays, so that's kind of nice if you want to do it in flight. And then you kind of get to work, um, so cockpit first, then you get work on the intake, and um, some of the uh, main landing gear, bay. Um, nozzle, obviously that can be done at the end, just slot it in. Wings, tail, system, and spine. Lumps and bumps. Gear. More gear. Um, fuel tanks and weapons. Um, if you want canopy up, it tells you, you know, the extra part, just hold the canopy up. Um, loadout. Now, we've gone through that, I mean, we've got some pretty advanced kits recently with tons of parts, like the Great War Hobby stuff, where we've gone through pages and pages. Um, this is literally three pages, and we pretty much built the aircraft, so it's just like a quick kind of weekend kind of build. And that is it. So, <laughs> that's it for building. So, you only have 13 sections, um, it's like a nice, easy, quick build. Um, but then, the back page, you have the color callouts. So, typical Israeli patterns, um, it says here that I noticed... Um, this isn't exactly 100% the scale. This says the uh, the marking chart is being reduced by 100% on the side, 80% on the top and bottom. So if you if you're one of those people who like to photocopy this and um, kind of trace on the markings on painting, just remember to kind of enlarge that a little bit because they've been reduced. So I'm just looking at two schemes. You you actually have three schemes. You have the um, 119th Squadron. 219 squadrons and various, you have one number 497, 119, and then you have the Israeli Air Force 253, two, 253rd squadron, um, number 253. So um, this is a very popular one um, on, on these jets. Um, this is the, you know, I never built an IDF um, jet before. I know pretty much no zero about them, so I'm not sure exactly what squadron is, but I know this is pretty recognizable, this kind of tail up. Um, but one thing I've not seen, which kind of looks cool, is a bat. And bearing in mind what's going on in the world right now, the bat's kind of very topical. So um, if I would build this, I'd probably go with a bat, bat in the back. Um, and then that beautiful kind of three-tone um, Israeli camel. Um, and here's just about pods. You've got the um, ANAAQ-13 nav pod and ANAAQ-14 targeting pod. Um, also, this is your decals right here, too. Um, not tons, just a few little stencil decals and stuff. And that is pretty much it. So first up, the decals. They look pretty nice. Um, the color's strong. What's, what's always nice the 72nd scale kits for me is you get the um, the cockpit instruments, which make, yeah, this scale's way too small for me to paint it. So I really like when you get the decals. They look pretty good too for the scale. Um, yeah, look really nice. Look, as always, with Hasegawa and Tamiya, the Japanese guys, they're always a little bit thick, but um, they're always all registered. The color looks good. Um, yep, yeah, no problems there. Next up is the canopy. Let's go. The 
looks like you have a couple of lights, um, HUD, and then a canopy. Just kind of checking this against. This is really clear. Um, is it... Yeah, no distortion at all. This is a really nice looking canopy. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, though, if, if this if this jet has um, a tinted canopy or not. I know a lot of um, Falcons and Vi Vipers do, so... Um, huh, that's a good question. So I'm not sure. I need to do some research. Um, you might need to tint this one, but the way it is, it, look, you know, it looks fine for the scale. Um, again, one-piece canopy. And then one big bag of pots. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sprues. All right, so first of all, let's look at the um, upper fuselage. Some, I don't know if you can see that, but some really nice surface detail, not very fine, um, not super um, kind of gouged in. It looks, you know, to scale. The nose is added too, a um, little bit of flash, but that's not no problem. Just comes right off of the finger or um, swipe with a sanding stick. The nozzle, I'm not sure if there's an interior part of the nozzle, we'll look in a minute, but that's pretty plain. Um, number one part you might want to get a resin upgrade for. So yeah, pretty plain um, nozzle. Cockpit, as you expect, this is kind of plain. Um, you'll get the instrument panels and a different sprue to attach onto it. Okay, lower fuselage, looks like you know, the, um, again, some nice detail. You got the main landing gear bay kind of molded in already. Um, it looks like there's a couple of parts. Of, so you've got two pieces to make the intake. And that's the inside of the intake. All right, interesting. So, I mean, the intake doesn't go way through. Again, this scale, it's going to be fine. I think it's a problem, but you've got plastic on the back of it there. Normally, this goes all the way through to the engine. So um, that's that. Um, looks like you have another piece of, so, okay, so it looks like this is a bit, a bit from a different kit. So it looks like, um, you have a single seat cockpit here. So this one's a two seat cockpit. So what I'm guessing is, um, this is, this is part of the IDF, um, one, and this is probably in all the packs. This is probably in the, um, American ones. Um, they got a lot, they got a ladder right here for, um, boarding ladder. This is really kind of chunky. Um, this is definitely way too big for 72nd scale. Um, so I'll probably leave that off or you maybe go to resin one. I'm just looking here at my tornado I recently built, um, which is a photo etch, and it looks way more than scale and better. This is just too chunky and too big. Um, wheels, pretty basic, but they're okay, especially in this scale. Pilot figure, mm, I think it'd be okay. I mean, with sport now, with like 3D printed kind of redo figures and stuff, but that looks okay. Um, Again, a little bit flash on the ladder here. There's, there's that flash, a little bit flash kind of all over the kit slightly. Um, is it nice? Is that nice kind of thick Tansigawa plastic though? Um, this this sprue is probably also added to the kit for the Israeli version. This is the spine right here. Um, we've got a couple of vents and a couple of pods, like lumps and bumps and stuff. So this would be, you know, this and the uh, that part is probably part of the Israeli kind of set, which makes us the um, the Sufa. Um, this part here, looks like more spine parts again, really nicely molded and riveted. Looking over it, lots of little like lumps and bumps. This guy, so this is going to be your um, well, there's your tail, two part where well, you've got the base goes on there, and then your um, horizontal stabilizers again, nice detail. Uh, gear, the front gear is pretty one piece, um, landing gear there too. And some blades. Seat, the Aries 2, I believe it is. Seat. 
sorry, Ace two, not Aries two. Okay, seat's kind of plain, but the pile on is going to be an issue. Then, oh, another burner cam. Uh, it's kind of loose. Um, again, some more flash on these on these bits here. Um, these are your fuel pods, um, pylons, some sidewinders, a couple of bombs there too. Look good. Another in screwed intake. So I'm guessing you probably have a large mouth and a small mouth, different blocks. So depending, again, these are kind of these kits are used for different variants and stuff. So just pay, pay attention to the instructions. Make sure you use the right one for which aircraft you're building. Um, it looks like you could probably build a few different versions of this kit from this. You can either build not an Israeli one, but you probably build a, um, a US like one two, and then a match pair here. So you have two one pilots. So we so we have three pilots total in this kit. Um, interesting. Um, these two are exactly the same, obviously. Um, match pair wheels nice is it pilot and there you go so that's pretty much it so i mean the kit looks nice um i've been spoiled a little bit recently because we've had such great um I'll get the box out. So we've had such great kits, like modern ones, like, you know, 2020, 2019, those kind of, you know, recent years, like the um, ICM MiG-25, the Great War Hobby kits, um, even those um, Special Hobby or Tarangus um, Vigan kits. It's just amazing detail on semi-second scale. This is more of the old school semi-second scale. I mean, the details there, um, some of it's a little bit basic. The panel line's okay. Um, the nozzle's kind of, just, yeah. For me, that's not quite there. So, I mean, if yeah, you need to add a little bit to this. If you added a nozzle, um, like a resin nozzle and a couple of resin seats, I think you'll be good to go. Um, the kit looks nice. Um, uh, it's as always, you know, it's a beautiful kind of free tone, like desert camo, um, two seater variant. Um, one thing I'm not sure about too is the canopy. Um, when do some research on that, see if it actually is clear. I'm guessing it's not. Um, I do have the 32nd Academy kit, which is obviously a lot bigger than this kit, and I believe I'm looking over there, I think it has a tinted canopy. canopy. So I think this one should be tinted. Um, you can do that yourself pretty easily, just um, you know, with some Tamiya smoke or some other kind of colors, you can just lightly spray it and, and tint it yourself. Um, so that's the kit. Um, hope you enjoyed it and review. Uh, and it is, again, the F-16I Fighting Falcon Israeli Air Force from Hasegawa in 72nd scale. So thanks for watching and see you next time.